slide and then I'll have him share is that my husband and I just came back from South Africa. And if you can put the picture up, we went to go visit Prophet Shepherd Bashiri. And I'm sure you've, you have seen our church show many videos about how he prophesies very specific to the point of date of birth, to the color of your underwear, to many, many details, or even can go into your house and tell you your bed is here. These are how many uh, couches you have, the color of your couch. And you're thinking, why on earth would, why would this ministry, why would it matter all these details? It's because God knows everything. God knows you. He knows where you're at right now. He sees you. He sees your issues. He sees your situation. And we got the privilege and opportunity to speak to Prophet, Prophet Shepherd Bashiri. And he began to speak about other people. When he began speaking to us, he's mentioned a few names, people in our family and in our church. And he said one specific, Nazar. But he said, he's like, I can't pronounce this. I have no idea what, how to say this name. So he took a piece of paper and he started writing it down. And he said, what, who is this? And we're like, wow, this is Nazar. This, his name's Nazar, this is our brother. And so... He, but before we went to that point, he started to say that, he said, I see a big car. I see a very big car with documents and I see a huge car accident coming. He's going to be involved in a very huge car accident, but we're going to pray for it to be canceled. He described the sizes of the car and the colors of the car. Okay, he even explained the collision, that it's going to be a head-on collision. Then he said, April, I see April, April. And we're thinking like, April, April. Oh my goodness, that's Nazar's birthday, April. And that's where it brought us, brought him to say, this is the guide, the, the spelling of the name. So he even told us his birth date and then wrote his name exactly correct. He couldn't hear it, but he wrote it prophetically. And we were astonished. So he came to the point where he said, we're going to pray for this right now. He's going to be okay, but we're going to pray that, the, that his car, that his big car, which is his semi, that will not be involved at all. We're going to cancel this completely. So we prayed and let's go here and hear from Nazar. Um, the same night that they were meeting with him, I was driving from Colorado to New Mexico. It was a late evening, around 11 o'clock, and I'm driving, and I, all these co uh, cops and ambulance start passing me. I'm like, what's going on? As soon as they pass me, maybe one minute passed by, and I see a highway shut down. And I see there's like, I'm like first in line, and cops stop me, they're like, highway shut down for, um, maybe six hours or so he's like pull over go to sleep by the morning it should be open so I uh, asked him what's going on he's like just now there was a head-on collision and uh, I was like okay so in the morning I'll wake up and I go and uh, I see there's a, like blue and white cars head collision like it was people dead on and I seen um, so these guys call me in the morning it's like, hey, just let you know, be careful. You know, there might be an accident. <laughs> I was like, uh, thanks. <laughs> and uh, so I'm like, there was an accident like just now. So when they described the colors of the car, a blue and white color, and I'm driving and I look on my map and guess what's the highway? It's the famous Devil's Highway 666 that goes from Colorado <laughs> through New Mexico. <laughs> So it was unreal that my dad called and my mom called, you know, the whole family found out. It just honestly shows you that God sees you and sees your situations. And it's so good to be connected to the people of God, to the prophets that they can honestly save your life. So that's awesome. Thank you, Nazar.